that would be just like a normal shoe with quarter clips. We'd put on a jumping horse or a riding horse. David Alexander is used to an active lifestyle. He's a blacksmith, a physical job that demands traveling his rural community to fit horses with the proper shoes. David and his wife Pearl also show and ride horses and horse power, loving to tour their country setting Harley Davidson style. But all this was interrupted when David was diagnosed with oral cancer. In July we started uh, seven weeks, we had seven weeks of radiation and uh, three chemos. David experienced fatigue, difficulty swallowing, nausea, and no appetite, losing 30 pounds. He needed a G-tube to help sustain him. G-tubes or feeding tubes are used to deliver nutrition and medication to patients who have difficulty swallowing or eating enough by mouth. While G-tubes aren't new, David was the first patient at Sunnybrook to be fitted with a unique style of G-tube called the McKee. It sits flush against the abdomen and allows patients much more freedom of movement. Compare the McKee to traditional G-tubes that protrude several inches from the abdomen and the difference is obvious. The McKee is much smaller and comes with a detachable adapter that connects when feeding, meaning it doesn't get in the way of daily living. It also differs from traditional G-tubes in that it has a one-way valve that eliminates leakage and spillage, which is a common complaint. It's held in place with a small inflatable bubble filled with water. Users just need to check the water level once a week to make sure it stays positioned properly. What we're seeing more of these days are advances in the tubes themselves and taking that the patient lifestyle in, into account. So we're seeing tubes like the McKee. But Manny Addis says there are things to consider. Patients with a greater abdominal girth or those who need to gain weight quickly are not great candidates because the tube is shorter. But many are, like David, who says the McKee has been incredible for him. Basically, you can do everything. Like, it didn't, the feeding tube didn't stop me from any part of my life at all. And, yeah, he's really happy, so, and that makes us happy because, um, you know, we are providing him with his nutrition, but in a way that, um, that doesn't interfere with his lifestyle. David is slowly weaning back to eating by mouth and hopes to have the McKee removed soon, but he's grateful to have had a less intrusive option for the time he needed it. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.